Now, the oceans provide humans with food, materials used in medicine, they generate oxygen, they promote vital economies and more. But some scientists say surging levels of greenhouse gases are threatening critical marine life. Fox News' Ted Lindner takes a closer look at an ongoing project. As world leaders meet in Dubai for the ongoing United Nations Climate Summit, activists say one thing is clear. If we have to focus on what's causing climate change, it's obviously fossil fuels. And therefore, what will solve climate change is obviously decarbonizing our economies. Data from the scientific group Global Carbon Project reveals carbon dioxide emissions increased by 1.1 percent this year. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the world's oceans play a huge part in absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. But the higher levels of the gas are causing the oceans to become hotter and more acidic, threatening vital marine life. In a race against time, a global team of scientists, a part of the Ocean Census Project, are trying to discover 100,000 new marine species over the next decade before researchers say many could be wiped out by climate change. We'll be going into the cave and trying to locate some beautiful uh, critical sponges that the scientists will be able to study and as well take rock samples and hopefully find some algae. So far, there's been success. A team of divers working along Spain's Canary Islands believe they recently discovered a new species of mollusk. Its entire body is covered by small scales, like the scales of a fish. And from what we have seen with the animal alive, it absorbs with the front of its body. It swells, grabs the liquid, and would surely pick up sediment, organic matter from the sand. And that is what it feeds on. Ted Lindner, Fox News.